Alaska. Here we are. We're home. It's a few months later. Yes, actually I just looked and it is six months and eight days from the day we arrived in Alaska. And as you can tell, it's a little cooler. Uh, we have some jackets on and you might, you might be able to see some white stuff in the, uh, in the on the ground here. Uh, we've got a nice, nice warm fire going to keep us warm while we're outside. Today I was editing um, our coming home video, the second of our series of traveling across Canada in three and a half days. Ooh. And um, we got home and then realized we didn't pick up the camera again. At least that would make sense right. in YouTube land. Hi Spirit, how are you? You want some beer? Yeah. So yeah, we haven't picked up the camera, but that doesn't mean we haven't been doing anything. We've just been we've been busy doing doing our Alaska stuff and, and you know getting getting residency and everything set here and getting established. And I have picked up the camera. We just haven't really vlogged anything. Um, I have bits and pieces, and that's what I tend to what I want to share with you guys in our next video or this video. Just what we've been doing for the past. Six, six months. months. I can't believe we've been here six months. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's happened in six months. Yes. And you guys are going to be excited to see what's going on. I'm not, I don't know if we're going to break anything into it now. So today is October 18th for reference. And we arrived in Alaska on May 10th. And we had a very busy summer. Yes. Uh, we did some amazing little mini trips, but yes. we really didn't go far from home just because we have been busy building At a home. house. Yeah, we've been bu busy on the homestead here with contractors and making sure things are going right. We're actually coming to you from our property. No, no. Uh, we are still living off grid in the motorhome. Yeah, but October 15th, 8th, what day is today? 18th. October 18th, and we're living off grid, except we do have sewer hookups. We have no power, we have no running water to our motorhome. It's freezing at night. So we've, we've had to overcome some challenges. Um, our solar is basically non existent because the sun is so low on the horizon, and we actually we do have a few trees block, uh, shading us quite a bit. So our solar gain is almost, almost zero. Yeah. So we're uh, relying on those Battleborn batteries a heck of a lot. Yes, we and have. The generator. If you've watched our past videos, you know we have a pretty sizable lithium battery bank, and they have been wonderful sustaining oh, us. Yes. Currently, right now, we can get about 48 hours with zero solar input on our batteries, and then we have to run the generator a couple hours every morning to top us back off and start the cycle yep. over. But it's fine, it's worth it. Um, we've been told our electrician should be starting on the home project uh, in a couple of weeks. So, hopefully Plumbers not have longer. to come first, they start tomorrow. So once the plumbers are out of the walls, yep. then the electrician will So over. with that, that should give you an idea of where we are along in this house. We're not gonna show you the house today, but well, maybe we will in the video, I'm not sure yet. Well, we have other videos or other clips that I'm gonna insert Good. here and there to show the build. Um, amazing. Even though we are RVing to Alaska, we are now living in Alaska and kind of picking up that crowd as well. Uh, in the summertime, of course, we will be RVing to places in and around the state and sharing those adventures. But we also want to share with you what it's like just to live here in Alaska and play like an Alaskan. But we're not going to show you everything. Sometimes there are secrets we got to keep. Yeah, yeah, that is true. But if you have any questions for us about living in Alaska or RVing, please drop them below. We right. would love to uh, connect with you on that. And as well, we have our RVing to Alaska, Alaska community on Facebook oh, yes. that we've been running now. This is our sixth season, I believe. And uh, we finally launched our website, RVingToAlaska.com. There's been a couple of uh, tragedies and errors and this and that with the Facebook, with the website. Uh, but I think <laughs> all three years to yeah, get it going. All has finally come together, and I think everything's working. So, but we're congratulations excited. Congratulations to Stacy for 
putting all that effort in. Thank you. It's yes. all done by me. So. It is. I'm just this. This is all I am. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had a wonderful summer. It started by, uh, we did a trip out to Prince William Sound mm -hmm. uh, to our realtor's uh, lodge, actually. Port Ashton Lodge. Beautiful, beautiful trip. Oh, and we got to help them open up their season and mm -hmm. just get away and decompress after our that big was, long drive. Well, that was like three days after our drive. It was like, hey, let's go on a boat ride for a weekend. And, and it was amazing. It so, was a great decompress. We were so thankful that our friends had the boat that we could get there on and, and, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the time with everybody. Doesn't suck, right? Not at all. It's not too bad. Anyway, I brought this guy up and he was on the surface for a little while and that bald eagle was circling around trying to get him. All of a sudden he came back to life. <laughs> Good morning from Port Ashton Lodge in Prince William Sound. We are truly off grid here and about 70 miles from Seward and I'm not sure the mileage from Whittier, <clears throat> but it's a three hour boat ride to get here. And it is a beautiful morning, and unfortunately our last morning here. But uh, I'm standing here on the deck of the beach house, and this is where we stayed. We're just finishing breakfast but I wanted to share this little slice of heaven with you. So today we go back home. We're gonna stop and drop our hooks for some halibut. Try to get some butts in the boat. Yesterday we went fishing and brought in nine black bass, rockfish. And I have a feeling tonight we might have fish tacos, but for the most part, I just want to show you guys, this is what coastal Alaska looks like. And one that you can't reach anywhere by land, <clears throat> either boat or seaplane. It's the only way in. But we feel super fortunate to visit this little slice of heaven. And we can't wait till we come back. So, just wanted to share with y'all this fun little adventure we had this weekend, or this week. Can't complain one bit. No. <laughs> this thing is huge. Yeah, you're not gonna fall too much. You wanna hop up and get the fish? <laughs> 
Don't walk too far. Let me back off so we can get a picture without the boat. No, I don't. As you can tell, I was very apprehensive to get on this rather large floating iceberg. Gary had no problem getting on, but something in my head and my mother's voice was telling me, don't you dare. My mother would kill me if I did. <laughs> no. But, you know, peer pressure. You do crazy things when you're having fun. And you may know, should I spill that bean? Not yet. Well, there's gonna be a lot exposed in this video. We'll say that. So that trip out to Prince William Sound really, it, 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 it sparked it our love boats. of being on the water, as you know, yeah. um, or maybe don't know, we had a boat down in Washington that we got in the spring of 2020 and we, uh, to quarantine on and it served its purpose, but it by no means was an Alaskan boat. No, no. So uh, we put it up on the market, and uh, it has been a long pending it's been a long sale. Long process. There's still some pending <laughs> part parts. Just going due on. to 2021 delays in, yep. in everything, our sale is still pending, but it is for all sense of purposes sold. Correct. And uh, we have bought an Alaskan boat. What are you doing? Videoing you. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. It's kind of a nice boat. It's an Alaska boat. So we did get ourselves an Alaskan style boat right. this summer. We, and we went out on a couple of trips with our with our new boat. Only a couple because that wasn't our priority. A boat was always supposed to be for 2022 for us, but with the sale of the Aqua Explorer, um, we knew we could go ahead with the Naughty Pleasure. What a great name. <laughs> yes. We call her the Naughty Pleasure because although she is a fish killing boat, well, some people may not like that term. She's a very good fishing she's boat. She's a fishing boat, but she's also a pleasure boat. Correct. So we named her Naughty Pleasure. Yes. And we were able to go out four times uh, this summer, uh, but it wasn't our priority because the house came first.
So that's the Naughty Pleasure. Uh, that's our um, Hughes Craft 290 Adventure, 30 foot boat, twin outboard engines on it. Beautiful Alaskan aluminum style, uh, uh, fishing boat. Um, but not only is it a fishing boat, it has a great forward cabin in it, uh, a really nice head in the, in a, the mid, mid area of the boat, a great galley set up. So it's, it's a great fish in boat. A fish killing. I just love the term fish killing, but some people just don't like that. So it's a great fishing boat. <laughs> but it's also a great pleasure. <laughs> but it's also pleasure. a great pleasure boat. <laughs> we didn't get out much. Uh, we didn't do any RVing this summer. No, it's, t it's tough to. We had so much going on. We just had to always make sure we were available uh, for the contractors yeah. to get our house built. We knew, even in May, that winter was coming and we did not want to be parked outside when it's negative we were 20. hoping to be inside by now but reality struck us in the face and uh we're still here yes but <laughs> i have a feeling within a month yep we should be inside and we've done some great things to the motorhome to oh, get us all winterized to a point we can still operate we're skirted we're foam board uh we've been staying very warm our coldest temperatures we've seen so far is 16, 16 and we kept the tanks fine we haven't had any freezing hoses uh -huh. um, we do have a septic uh, so we're good there I mean can't complain uh, we do have some videos here and there of the build and we'll share that with you as we go on I know we're gaining more than just people RVing to Alaska we're gaining uh, viewers that want to move here as well, mm -hmm. or just visit the traditional way of flying up. Right. So we get a lot more uh, interest in, in, in on the Facebook pages and as well as the RV RVing group. Uh, actually, just or the uh, YouTube group. Uh, just the other day, there was a family that was doing some homeschooling on the YouTube channel yeah. on YouTube. And they left a, an amazing comment for Stacy on, on the YouTube channel, and they you were paraphrase it. So basically, they were just doing geography in their homeschooling class, and uh, they wanted to travel to Alaska virtually. And um, their grandma found our videos, and through our videos, they were able to travel all over Alaska and learn mm -hmm. about it. So that melted my heart right. just just a smidge. I just found it amazing that they were actually using YouTube as a tool for studying geography. They would go to YouTube and type in Alaska or you know, Canada or wherever they're looking and they'd look at videos about that region. So it was really neat that we were able to touch them and 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 oh, expose them to Alaska. Yep. I'm also pretty fairly active on a couple of uh, Facebook groups about mm -hmm. moving to Alaska, just sharing my expertise and our own experience of moving up here i mean it's not an easy move by any means no there's a lot a lot of considerations to make and a lifestyle change and, and environmental change as well especially it's, taking a piece of raw land like this mm -hmm. and developing it into something we envisioned and dreamt up i mean even right. our house design is our design we went to pen and paper and just started drawing where we wanted rooms and we found an amazing builder to make our dream shop house Come happen. Through. Yeah. Off to the property we go. This is it. Welcome to our Alaskan homestead, uh, or as we're calling it, our Houston hideaway. Uh, today's plan is to chainsaw out a road to get back farther and um, kind of get an idea where we're going to place the house and shop. Uh, we've brought marker tape. 
a 300 foot tape measure with us. Um, and because tomorrow the excavator is going to be here with his equipment. We don't know if it's just a drop off or if they're going to actually start clearing land. So we figured we would get on top of things a little bit and give them an idea where we want to put things. So yeah, let's get this thing started. Well, we're making a good chunk of progress here, uh, cutting in a road where we would like the driveway to come in off the road. We're back probably 100, 150 feet or so. Just trying to get to where we want to put the house, which is going to be back over that way. But uh, yeah, tedious work. We don't even know if we need to do this, but we want to do it. We want to be a part of this build. So it's been a good day. So, and then when, when we were working with our excavator, he, he really had, he couldn't envision what we were seeing. We, we walked through the property and I said, I want the corner of the shop to be here and I want the other corner of the house to be here and the RV to be over here. And he couldn't get it until we cleared everything out. And he's like, oh. Oh my gosh, today it actually feels real. We are here with the excavator and we are uh, basically marking what trees stay, which ones go to make our house pad. This is pretty exciting stuff. Um, I don't even know what to say. We're still finalizing plans, but at least now we have our site plan all developed. And uh, Gary is deep in the bush right now, figuring it all out. Um, we had some wildlife. We uh, stirred up a mama moose and baby. Luckily, they went the other way. Um, I think they're going to be a little upset. We're moving them out of their home. But the nice thing is we're on the edge of the swamps and they have plenty of other places to call home. And I'll be honest, I'm okay with sharing our, our land with the moose. So we had a lot of, a lot of insightful thoughts, a lot of, a lot of visions that we, that we created and, and they've come to life. And yeah. it's really kind of amazing to see. And one thing is like, we do have an RV pad for parking because we know we have a lot of friends and family that are gonna either RV up mm -hmm. or uh, even we're boondocker welcome um, hosts. So we have a space for them as well as for ourselves. All of our vehicles and toys will be under, under a roof in the shop uh, which is very important to us, especially right. with these harsh Alaskan winters. Mm -hmm. it, it is so very nice to have everything protected from the environment. Um, it's, it's a different climate up here, it really is. It's cold uh, in, in the wintertime <laughs> and a lot of snow. Uh, we, we were tromping through two plus, maybe three feet of snow last winter uh, when we were looking at this property. Yeah. Okay. We just snowshoed into our property. Holy crap. That's our neighbor's house. There's mountains back over there. The clouds are hiding the mountains over here, so they're there. Okay. Let's see if I can turn around without falling. My snowshoe fell off. Oh yeah. Gee, moose poop. Probably want to get as much height as possible. But I don't know. I think this is the highest elevation. Yeah, this is the higher elevation. It's just so cloudy over there you can't see the mountains. mountains. Okay, we just got a little bit higher. And look at those mountains. Do, 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 do. A lot of clouds in there right now, but. Yeah. All right. We're going that way. All right. We made it out. <laughs> All three of us. Yeah. So there's mountains. And oh dang, he made it. 
<laughs> now my turn. All right, that's the property. So it's a whole different world up here and we are extremely excited to discover more of it. Yeah, we've been seeing the Northern Lights these past couple of weeks here on the property and it's just like, ah, I came out here for over an hour one night just shooting and getting used to my new camera that I have to shoot the Aurora and uh -huh. freezing my toes off. Yep. Um, I'm not a winter person, but I, I'm going to be living up here. So our video content this winter, I am going to focus on bringing you some of our excursions from 2019. I know I never finished that travel season on YouTube and I didn't really vlog very much in between fun things. So I'm going to just bring to you over the winter months the excursions we did such as taking a plane out of Homer and go seeing the bears in Lake Clark, Lake Clark National mm -hmm. Park. We have our flight scene tour out of Wrangell St. Elias um, and a couple other things that we did. Uh, we flew up to Barrow. We flew, oh that's right, we flew to Barrow. That, that was amazing. Spent a weekend up there wow. so that's my goal for over the winter months to bring you what has been waiting in our vault for the past couple of years from 2019. Right. So that will be a, great, a good winter to catch up on um, RVing to Alaska, formerly known as Palahana Travels at that time. Yep. And now RVing to Alaska. Yep. Um, and, and then with that, we will also be working on the RVing to Alaska community uh, through the Facebook group um, and doing the um, RVing to Alaska live chats on YouTube mainly. Only on YouTube on now. YouTube. I'm trying to get yep. away from Facebook. So um, we, we still do our community on Facebook, but I don't want to do everything on Facebook. Right. And then uh, we'll also be bringing you some house build videos. Uh -huh. uh, we did a video on winterizing our RV with the skirting and just some other snippets here and there that we filmed yep. over the summer. Um, it's just been a crazy year of getting settled. Yeah, and it's... Uh with getting settled, there's a lot to do to get settled, so we didn't have a chance to play as much as we wanted. No, so, but that's okay. It is. We have our whole lives up here now. Absolutely. It's it's a, oh, it's beautiful up here. I mean, we chose, we, we were walking through this property nine months ago through two and a half, three feet of snow, you know, up on this little rise right over here. You can see it being off trying to, his shoulder. Trying right to peek over the trees to see if we can see mountains and it's like I think we can see mountains and once we got our structure built and we we're up on the second floor. We saw mountains. We saw mountains. And oh we, my gosh this view is amazing. We picked a really nice area of the valley. Um, the valley doesn't have the greatest reputation but I feel we're far enough way out that um, we don't have those issues. Our neighbors no. are amazing. Yes. We live in an amazing neighborhood. Uh, I mean, it's not a neighborhood in a We're all on acreage. Yeah. I mean, our property is seven and a half acres. But the nice thing is, is we know every neighbor pretty much within a mile of us on right. our road. Right. So, it, and it, it's been easy to get to know them. And we've been welcomed, welcomed with open arms. Um, so it, it's, been, it's been amazing. It's been worth it. It has been. And it will be. Oh, sure. So cheers to Alaska, folks. Cheers to our new and life, to our, home. to our neighbors, to our new home, and to you guys, our followers who are still sticking with us. It's because of them that we're still here doing this. You know, every year there's a new group of followers coming through uh, to, to travel to Alaska. The last couple of years have kind of some hiccups, but 2022 is going to be the year, I have a feeling, and uh, we're going to see a lot of you up here. And I appreciate your patience with yeah. uh, me getting videos out. I just do it on my own time when I have the the want to do it, um, and I just appreciate it. Appreciate all of you. Absolutely, it's amazing. All right, guys. Well, I think our fireside chat is about done. My toes in my Crocs. Did you know this is an Alaskan staple, Crocs? If you don't have Crocs, you're, you don't. Yeah, <laughs> You gotta have Crocs. You got mine on too. He's got his with wool socks. So <laughs> yes, wool cotton kills. Yep. But um, we just want to thank you guys again for dealing with our patience of uh, lack of videos. But we'll get around to it. 
Are we rambling yet? Yeah, we're rambling. All right. Time to go. Have that, a good nope, night. That, that's too much like the other guy. See ya. No. <laughs>